Evaluating an expression with rational exponents. So the main trick for evaluating something with rational exponents is to remember that what our fraction really is telling us is the power and the root that we're concerned with. Okay, so when I evaluate these, the first thing I always do is rewrite them, breaking up the fraction into the two components, the power part and the root part. There's two ways of doing that. We could either say, we could do our root first. So remember when we take exponents to exponents, we multiply. So this ends up being the same thing here. Or we could do the exponent first and then the root. Okay. Either way this works is when we distribute this through, we would end up with the same statement. Order of operations always tells us to start inside the parentheses and work out. So what we're concerned with here is the 8 to the 1 third. If you remember what that means, this is really just the cube root of 8. Cube root of 8 is just 2. So what we have here is 2 squared, which is 4. Okay. Doing it the other way. 8 squared, 64. 64 to the 1 third. Again, the 1 third is just the same thing as the cube root. Cube root of 64 is just 4. Obviously, we don't have to do this twice. I'm just showing you there are two options. In general, I will always go for this one first. Do the root first. And why I do that is because our numbers are getting smaller. Okay? We take the root of something, we're going to get smaller numbers. I like dealing with smaller numbers better than larger numbers. Here, what we're doing is making our numbers larger. Okay? Imagine this was to the fourth power. I don't know what 8 to the fourth is, so therefore I'm going to get huge numbers that's going to be hard to deal with. So if we do our root first, we end up getting our numbers smaller, tend to be easier to manipulate. But the general principle is just breaking up our fraction into its power component and its, square root, or its root component, and then simplifying as we go.